Uh, my name is Kimberly Cucci and I'm interviewing Betty Bennett. It's August 1993 and we're sitting around her dining room table uh, talking about some rem remembrances uh, that she might have that her dad talked to her about as well as her own. Uh, we also have as a guest my mom, <laughs> Barbara Wagner, who's uh, going to talk with Betty about their uh, childhood and young adult, teenager, etc. Uh, what type of typical days it was like at Sylvan Beach. And they were childhood friends, is that correct? That's correct. So uh, I'd like to start with Betty just to get a few of the facts, if I may, and that would be uh, your father's name. What was his uh, full name? Samuel Rollo Post. Okay. And your aunt, uh, let's see, you have an, an aunt, Margaret? Margaret Post Forden. Okay, and that would have been um, Sam's sister. sister yeah. Okay. And uh, your sister, Barb? My sister Barb. Okay, and her last name? Not Marantet. Okay. And, and my then. My brother. Okay. And uh, of course, his last name is uh, Post. Well, Sam Post, Post too. Sam Post. Uh, <laughs> you have three children uh, Barb, Bryce, and Betsy. Right. And uh, basically, I've been going over some of your uh, photographs, of which three albums that I have now seen, of which are uh, very old. I was wondering. Uh, they are your, your dad's album and your aunt um, Margaret's album. Well, there's one that's my dad's album when he was a child. Okay. And his sister's album when they were both, when she was about a teenager. And then there's one that's my dad's album, goes up to 40s, I guess. Okay. 40s. And in those earlier albums, so much of where your dad and uh, aunt are in the pictures, I was kind of curious as to who was taking those photographs, to your best guess. Oh, my best guess, them, they took them, <laughs> I would uh -huh. uh, What about his dad? Now, what was his name? Sam Post. Okay, <laughs> now was he the <laughs> senior? <laughs> was he, no, uh, he was, uh, he was uh, Sam Post Senior was his grandfather. Okay. And he's the one that always wore a top hat and and uh, tails. Okay, so, and um, even at the cottage. Well, I don't know whether he was even really at the cottage. Uh, no, I don't think he probably was. But his son Sam Post was here, and his wife Jessie. They were the first ones in our family that were here. That was your grandfather. Uh, yes. But he died in like 1931 or something, so he was never around a whole lot. Okay, well then that actually leads us into the very first question, which is uh, how did your family come to be at White Lake? Mainly because my grandmother, Post, uh, Jesse Post, was a friend of Mrs. Sample. Uh, do you remember, I don't remember uh. her first name, they called her Pussy. Uh, <laughs> do now, no, no, but I can't remember. <laughs> this is Oscar Sample. I can't remember her name, and she was from St. Louis, and somehow she was a friend of my grandmother. I do remember the name. And uh, do you remember Sam Sample? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's uh, they were friends. And from she, Indianapolis? From, no, no, no. They, she was, Mrs. Sample was from St. Louis, and my grandmother was from Detroit. Okay. And how they were friends, I don't know. Okay. But she used to come and spend the summer at the Sun Beach Hotel, and I guess my grandmother came and rented the Dutton Oliver Cottage, which was right next door. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Uh, earlier you were talking about how uh, Mrs. Samples introduced your family, yeah. um, the Post, to the, this area. And about what was your best guess about what time that might have been? I would gather around 1910. Okay. Because we have pictures of my father being up here uh, as a young boy, mm -hmm. so I guess that would be. And you said you rented what cottage? We rented the Duttenhofer cottage, which was right across the valley. Mm -hmm. What do you call it? A yeah, it was a low. I tried little, to describe that to Kim. There was little, a definite depression there. A little mm -hmm. hole or something. Know, which is now uh, uh, Jacqueline's, isn't it? Uh, well, yeah, it's Jacqueline's cottage. Yep. Oh, the, the right. depression, that was, well, that was the new, those were the two lots that they sold yeah, when the hotel went down. Well, the hole must have been filled in. Yes, well, it's there a lot is more somewhat still, yet still of a depression there. Yeah. <laughs> no. But no, the Duttenhoffers, which is now, um, now the Rudolph, Rudolph. 
You'll you'll learn it off or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, what um, occupations did your um, dad have when he was coming up here? Or actually, I guess I should say your granddad um, and your uh, grandma Jesse and. Uh, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't even remember. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what he. I don't know what he did. Okay. Uh, he might have been something in the Queen. They had the Queen Anne Soap Company. They mm -hmm. owned the Queen Anne Soap Company, but that was my grandfather. And I think my, or my great grandfather, I think my grandfather might have been in on that, but I, I'm not really sure because I didn't know him very well. Sure. He died when I was about two, so mm -hmm. I didn't really know. What about uh, your dad? My dad's first occupation was uh, building Murray Road. <laughs> he was Great. Old. He was one of the ones that, as a teenager, was out uh, building the road to get in here. Um, and then he worked on it. He worked part of the time as uh, one of the helpers at the Wabaningo Club. What do you mean when they built the road? What did they do? They built a road. Mm -hmm. Was nothing but a dirt path? Yeah. Nothing. They had to build yeah. a road to get out here. Is this uh, in the Forbes book when they talk about how they built a yeah. clay road? Yeah. And, yeah, and there's yeah. some pictures in the Forbes book of just, just slats of board, too, right. going right down board. below where my house is. Okay. And, and just a path and then I don't suppose you, then. would you happen to know about what time that might be, time-wise, Well, year -wise? I would guess Daddy was a teenager, so he was born in 1901, so let's say, what, 18, 1918? You're better than I Probably did it before the war, or maybe Well, they during paved the, war. the road, if I understand it right, in 1921. But prior okay. to that, they prior had that, put in this clay done. road. And that's probably what he was working okay. on then. Um, and he worked as a caretaker down there at the Wild Club. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. And um, Not the caretaker, a helper. Right. Uh, Let's see, where were they from, and then how did they get here? What kind of mode of transportation? Did they come by boat, or did they come by train? You got me. Well, I know that. Grandpa told me. What? They used to come by train from Detroit to, into Whitehall and then take the ferry boat. They did? Yeah. Down the lake? Or the Take the ferry boat across White Lake. Oh. You know, in one sense, you do have, you're one of the few people that I've seen that has uh, one or two photographs of the Whitehall train depot, and I was going to ask you about that I didn't know. later on in the photograph session. But <laughs> depot. is this the Whitehall train depot here? Does anybody know? Ooh, uh, I, I can't seen see it that one here. Whitehall train depot? Yes. How do you know? Because <laughs> it looks like it. Okay. okay. Um, launches on it. I guess so. It looks like the old pilings, doesn't it? But that could have been anywhere. Well, this is this that's is down the arcade dock. Silver Beach. Mm -hmm. Is that a ferry boat? No, I don't well, think some of these launch motors. Uh, uh, are you yeah, filming? You're on, yeah. Okay, so we were picking it up from the way that um, your granddad got here, and Bryce mentioned that uh, he felt that they came in from the uh, train from Detroit, took the ferry across the lake. So they would come to the Sylvan Beach dock, and then what? As far as going up, did your dad um, I, ever reminisce about, you know, getting the trunks off the boat, and who would take up the baggage? I to don't the, remember hearing. I, whoever the caretaker was at the yeah, time. Yeah, the caretaker would probably uh, would, would take care of that. Get yeah. the trunks and whatever they. Now brought. that was Charlie Spicklemeyer, wasn't it? There's been no. I don't know. Maybe at to, that time. At that time, uh, it certainly was, was one of the caretakers. Well, I think he was the first one. And I don't know how. Uh, he was the first caretaker. Whether there was a horse or a. a yeah. <laughs> something had dra dragged well, up. Well, they didn't really have to go very far. No. No, but it would have been. Heavy up trucks would have been more than, than one yeah. person could carry alone. Yeah. Well, they, how long they would, stayed all summer, most yeah. of them. That's what I was going to ask. But how long could they stay? Were they all summer people, monthly? Uh, did he just come up on the weekends? Uh, and did your um, I don't really mom, know for Jessie sure, but when, ma or? when mother and daddy got married, they got married in June, and they came up here and stayed in the Dutton Hopper Cottage with, mm -hmm. their, with the in-laws for their honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my land. <laughs> so if they were here in June, I'm assuming they stayed most of the summer. I know that we did. Mother and the, yeah. and the dad took his vacation and it would come weekends on the boat or the yeah. train. Yeah. Uh, 
Would you happen to have overheard um, your dad say anything about how, or your mom say anything about how they dealt with life necessities as far as, um, you know, how they got uh, their food and their water and storage of that and ice. cooking and ice. Well, now, didn't they have the store at the arcade then? Well, as long as... As long as I can remember, there was uh, a, I, a little a little uh, grocery store yeah. with basics and a drugstore. Uh, okay, now yep. this is your recollection. Yes, but that hasn't that always been okay. there? I mean, that was you the know. dock, the boats docked there, and they brought the stuff out I'm from. Just, okay. That'd be something. I wonder when the arcade was actually constructed. I don't have any. There, idea. Got it's in that book. It. It's. Well, uh, we've got. I can could have been there for quite a while. So well, well I mean, there are pictures of it in here. Okay, well, before we go to that, where that guy is. Okay, but cooking as far as in the cottages and stuff, did they... I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> and um, as far as heating, was it always just uh, fireplaces or... It must have been. Until yeah. last month. Until we bought one in last month. <laughs> They're only here in the summer, so that yeah. really it was, if it was just a really, really cold, you used your fireplace or anything like that. Did any of these cottages at that time have running water? <laughs> I would assume they would. Oh yes, I. I don't so. know when the association. Well, tape you, you just put said. In or you just said your father. Oh, oh that, that was a new that was one. a replacement. The yeah, old one, one, the old, uh, the old one had. Uh, well, rusted or something. Go back to Dave Four. There's the arcade. That's a good picture yeah. of the arcade. Yeah, I would imagine you might find that in Dave's book. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. How did um, people communicate? Say how if they ever needed to get a hold of somebody Walked. back into Detroit. Oh, I mean actually a long distance communication. Well, they had phones. Some people had mm -hmm. phones, but up here I don't know how they had phones. Well, they had phones. The first phone that, as we were talking about this, day, that uh, grandfather Naveen got yeah. got the phone and, and he wanted a private line and that was not allowed, so he bought all four. <laughs> there was a four party line, so he he bought all four of them and they were the only ones because uh, as a teenager I can remember the few times that. Well, we never had a phone would, when no, I was dating. Well, we didn't either, and, and mm -hmm. uh, anybody that needed a phone called the Naveens, which <laughs> eventually they got a little, oh, they got a little much. Did the caretaker's house have a phone? I think so, and of course that's where the mail used to be. Yeah, uh, brought in the, the porch. Well, no, the mail used to come. It came down to the arcade. It came oh, to the, it only well, was on the caretaker during the war. Is that is that well, They used uh, to put it on the porch, but and he would sort it out on a big table, yeah. and there would be a uh, little piles of your mail, and you went. Down but that was during the war when, that the, when okay. the post office was closed. Um, do you recall your dad or your mom um, talking about any memorable events associated with their times uh, as far as in relationship to Sylvan Beach? Like uh, as far as did World War I make any kind of um, significance to your being up here? No, at Sylvan my Beach, dad just, something missed, like just that. missed the draft. Okay, <laughs> so that didn't lucky guy. <laughs> I remember being here for VJ Day, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> dancing around the fire <laughs> down at the uh, down at the tennis courts of the well, yeah. Tell me about that. It was, was what August? Late? It was August fourteenth. Okay. Sam's birthday, wasn't it? What year? Nineteen forty-five. I guess that's about right. Yeah. We heard the news so, oh, yeah, by radio or something. Big gathering. Yeah. Everybody gathered Dr. on the, Hudson on the ball field. On the, the everybody on the beach came down. And there was a big, we had a big oh, fire, and everybody just big. danced around the fire. Is <laughs> what I remember: just yelling and screaming and jumping. And <laughs> yeah, well, see, that was in the summertime. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what about the, the depression or prohibition? Prohibition didn't affect us, I guess. <laughs> But the depression, we wouldn't have any. Do you have any? Not particularly. No, no, we still came up. We still came just as and usual, and uh, that's when we were yeah, staying we, down at Murray's. Uh, we were, you and I were fairly young at that point. It was pretty much over in by '33, wasn't it? Or, oh no, it wasn't well, over till the war started. '39. That was when it was oh. really over, wasn't it, Bryce? Yep. Yes, but. You guys were too well off to that was it. have anything to do with the depression. <laughs> well, or at least I guess as children, they probably would not have worked conscious of yeah. The rest well, of us we would pick up coal on the railroad tracks at that time. At that time, we were renting, uh, let's see, first we rented down at Murray's for a while. Uh, and then... Now, uh, when you say we, this the is... Family. Okay. Mother and Daddy rented... Remember they had a 
place out on the in front of Murray's that uh, yeah, there was building that was out mm -hmm. on the sand. I mm -hmm. remember staying out there. I remember staying in that second building, right? There was a lot of outbuildings yeah, there. Yeah, they had a lot of outbuildings. Little... And we stayed down there for a while. And then we went away and went to Point of Barks for a few summers. And we decided we wanted to come back to Sylvan. And then we rented the, the clinic cottage, which is now Jenny Schmitz. We rented that one until suddenly, somehow, they discovered that at this end of the beach there were three lots that would, were new to Sylvan Beach. They didn't know they had them. So Mother and Daddy bought one, and Dr. Hodson bought one, and Clay's bought one. And when you say newly discovered... Now that's that, what they did. <laughs> how, uh, do you know anything about that as far as it, was it mm -hmm. surveyors' oversight or... They just discovered that they owned them. That's <laughs> happy news. <laughs> Very happy. I guess. Well, things were quite loose at that point, yeah. and there really isn't a good property line between any of us. Oh, sure. Uh, there's, yeah. And there's been problems. Well, that's the same thing that happened with the lots over there, uh, Carmi Garen. They, they discovered yeah. that lot the Hillens are on. Mm -hmm. That was just no, kind of an extra it was just one piece of land. Well, it just happened with the one up on the hill, too. Mm -hmm. Well, that was made. Yeah. yeah like it, that was just discovered, though. Yeah, well, in anyway, they discovered three new lots, so that's when we built our cottage, and we uh, bought the lot in 1938, and spent our first summer here in 1939. Uh, what was a typical day like uh, as a child or a youngster type age? Pretty much the same as kids now. <laughs> just... Can you describe that for me? No. No? <laughs> Mostly on the beach, right? It seems to yeah, be we yeah. spent a great deal we, we of time down, of time down on the, the beach, but we were also <laughs> entertained. We spent a lot of time uh, down at the dock. Down well, the, the arcade was a focal point for the Wabanango Club. And the Wabanango Club. We spent Club a lot of time in the Wabanango Club. And uh, had the, the Jinx, of course, was one but they most had every a, summer. And they had an, uh, an activities director, uh, which yeah. we, we just hung out. Was that the social director you were talking yeah. about? Yeah. And that was a full time position? For a, a while. Time, for a while. Yeah, it I mean, was probably, what, before the war? I think it was I, a quit then. When, when did Mrs. Money, Lawrence was a friend of Hodson's. Yes, and, and but Monty Terryberry did it one year. She'd come she up as, that, as she'd come up to visit plays. Yeah, I was and, surprised uh, to hear uh, that. Then I guess the next summer she took over the job. Now, she didn't live here, uh, but and I she, don't remember she her was a kind bit. of a... Well, I do because of she put on a Cinderella. Oh, yes, yeah, she was telling me about and, that. Uh, <laughs> Okay, when it came time to get ready for the jinx, why we, all the little girls, and the girls were much more into it than the oh. fellows were, went down and uh, uh, I got the part, not for my talent, because, but she said, because I had the smallest feet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember Monty doing that, and she said that was before they were married. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you say you were entertained, though, what do you mean by that? Well, there was always something going on down at the Wild Club. People would go there. and. You know, if was you wanted half to, them plays. if you just if you wanted somebody to play with, they were there. Was, there was a ping pong table, yeah. the, and uh, or you hung around well, the arcade. And the, well, well, as far as going into down there, uh, say about teenager or young adult age, what about uh, your interest in uh, boating or sailing? Well, that was just a matter of course. Everybody, <laughs> most, everybody, most did all that. of us were involved with the yacht club and, and a boat of some kind. Yeah, but, I mean, mm -hmm. just. Uh, how about? Uh, as far as your dad is concerned, as far as especially say uh, tennis, <laughs> it seems there's quite a few photographs of him yeah. on the tennis. Yes, court. he would go down and he would play tennis with a pipe in his mouth, and he <laughs> played tennis with all the young girls that he could find <laughs> to play tennis. How with. young? Uh, well, however young they were, he but, was there, and he'd yeah. hit the ball and he'd chop it so that it never got returned. <laughs> no good for him. I was like, uh, he didn't ever move. He just hit the ball over there. It's kind of the way my dad did too. Yeah. He had the Van Vinter lob. Yeah. You know, it suck them, suck the younger players in and way up, and they think, oh, I'm just going to kill this, and they would smash it right into the net every time. <laughs> so they never worked too hard playing like tennis. No, I think Dad had a cigar in his yeah, mouth. Yeah, a cigar and a pipe. Sam had a pipe. Now I understand. Early, the tennis courts were under the operation of the Wob Club way long back. I heard that. Dwayne told me that. I didn't really realize it at the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it had to belong, I guess. Yeah, it was a whole little separate entity all, all by itself. 
Uh, how about uh, camping or hiking, beach picnics? Anything as far as reminiscences as no. far as your dad and yourselves? A lot of beach parties when we yeah. were kids. I never so. heard them called picnics, though. They no, were beach they were a beach party, <laughs> beach and they party. involved food. Food and that and drink. And later on, where it was, they would go down at 10 o'clock. Yeah, and just, no, uh, this was... Uh, this was definitely the evening. Yeah. You had your everybody dinner. seemed to take a turn. Everybody, everybody, everybody had a party. summer sometime. Everybody had a, a beach party. Beach party. Uh, meaning in front of somebody's uh, house. In somebody's mm -hmm. house, or did you have one particular spot that you guys would go to meet, kind of as a gang? No, no, I, I, don't I don't think so, because so. there was such Just, a good beach, but yeah. we all had uh, good access, and you went, if we were, you went where the, the posts were entertaining, we were here in front of your house, and if we were, yeah. it would be down at our end. Wherever. I noticed you had a few photographs of uh, dune buggies. Uh, did you go and do that? Dr. Or? Hodson always took the choir once a year to buy the dune scooters. That was the... Reward for having suffered through <laughs> the choir practice. You were in the choir? I didn't sing, but I went to choir practice. <laughs> we faked it, or well, what is it? Lip sync? We yeah. didn't know what that was. No, no, no. <laughs> so everybody got to go to the, the dune scooter party. <laughs> How about uh, swimming? Of course, it seems well, that, like a that, daily activity. Very definitely. Now, um, did you guys? Uh, use the kitty beach in the morning and the big beach in the afternoon. Uh, was there a tradition well, that, there? That is just because that's where the sun is. Yeah. But I mean, or, or, big beach in the afternoon, but we or all day, mostly. It seems you go to the yacht club or you go to the arcade or to wherever the gang was. Yeah, wherever so, somebody decided. Yeah. Uh, how about water skiing? Does anybody remember a ramp of, yeah. of some well, sort? Yeah, well, yeah, in front of uh, the club. club. Yeah. When, when, when we were teenagers, there wasn't a, a really we much water it. skiing. There was, no, I uh, don't think. It hadn't come into vogue yet. There was a little Well, we didn't have any gas either. No, and, and or the boats weren't adapted to it. But there well, was must those have had some gas, because I remember running Those round, round saucer things that we did for a while before oh, water skis. Oh, kind yeah. of skiff type. Um, I don't know, you just balanced on this. There was a, a disc? No, yeah. it well, was like a just a board, wasn't it? A well, there was, there was a surfboard, surfboard type of thing, and there was some yeah. brown saucers too. But. Mm -hmm. As far as this ramp, uh, can you anybody recall anything about it? We're I kind of looking for a picture of that or any remembrances yeah, of that. I was too scared to go. I, was too I never used it. <laughs> I didn't either. I never liked the water. Skate. Who put it in there? What? Who put it in there? Diamonds, I think, wasn't it? I think maybe so. I yeah. think it was in and front of Diamonds. And where was this located about? In front of Diamonds Cottage. Which, which is now... Or Diamonds. Still Diamonds. Okay. It's, still it's down, it's down uh, where the old, kind of in front of where the old club used to be, between the shore and the yeah. out yeah. enough, so that yeah. it was actually located just about in front of right. the old like, the log club. Yeah. How about fishing? Did anybody in your family... Oh my, do? I've, got, we've got, I've got pictures all through my album bringing home the fish. Did you eat them? Yeah. In those just, days, sure. In those days, yeah. When things changed. <laughs> uh, I fishing, and you said that you had scads of uh, pictures of fishing. Oh, well, that's just me carrying home. Sure. <laughs> carrying home a string of fish. Or yeah. Uh, where, would, where would you go fishing? Right out off in front of the arcade dock. Okay. And would you just fish with worms? Or? Yeah. Uh -huh. What would you catch? Perch, bass. And did your dad do any fishing? I don't remember him ever going fishing. Of course, your husband is considered one of the biggest fishermen. <laughs> he goes out and fishes, but he doesn't time. catch anything. Well, my, my husband didn't catch anything either. I think, <laughs> I think it's a big plan, though, so. <laughs> way to get away from the wife. Yeah. Well, I gave up fishing long ago. Yeah, I do go out once in a while. Um, how about golf? Did your family ever get involved with the golf course? Oh, I think we belonged to the golf course once. I remember I, I was left-handed, so I never really took up golf because I never got any clubs because I didn't know if I wanted to play. But I remember going to one of their tournaments or whatever it was. I remember winning a putting contest. Oh. But uh, I remember they used to have all those oh, tables yes. full of prizes. Mm -hmm. I think I won a rearview mirror to put in the car. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with it. <laughs> I want a rear view mirror. <laughs> You've got to 
got the mirror, now you just need the car. Yeah. So. A lot of yeah. to do. Uh, as far as entertainment, uh, how about singing? Now, I'm, I'm not really talking about the jinx yet. That has sort of its own uh, category, but as far as uh, at beach parties. Oh, well, that was just part of the beach party was all was singing. Did somebody bring an instrument? Or? No. No, I, I don't remember. There wasn't anybody that in our group. I don't remember. Anything anything. I can remember. This why it was before the era of guitars and yes, portable things. Ukuleles? No, no, just singing. Just okay. singing. We always had uh, a big fire. Remember any of the songs? <laughs> <laughs> Good background music for the video. Oh maybe. dear. We did well, why can't we make a list sometime? <laughs> that we'll have to get back we'll, to you on. <laughs> yes, we'll come back with a list. How about... Um, there are probably many of the songs that they're still sung. Well, like the days of Minnie the Moocher. Remember singing yeah, that one around yeah. the at the Yacht Club? Oh, well, there's yeah. a lot of songs, but I'm not I'm trying to think no, of I them. No, I can um, How about charades? Were you guys playing... Uh, I'm just throwing I mean, we out... We used to play that occasionally in your living room or that was, then or whatever. Yeah, we, that was something we did like to do. Um, I should have mentioned, excuse me for jumping around, but we were talking about beach games. games. In your daddy's uh, photograph album, there was a very unusual picture. Why don't you cut that? And let's find it. We were talking, I had asked Betty about a particular picture that was in her daddy's photo album. Um, my mother actually remembers the game. It's uh, played in the sand and or in the snow, you, she or said. In the snow. Or in the snow. Okay, yeah, you go ahead, yeah. Mom. Just what it says, it was a pie. You tramped a circle around, either sand or snow, if you're home in the winter. A very large circle. Oh, yes, because it was a, basically a game of tag. And then there was uh, six or eight divisions, however many here in a pie. And somebody was it, and you had to stay in the, you had to run and try and avoid them, by st but staying in the, in the circle or the cross. Ways. You had to stay within. Uh, you couldn't step the out. Sections of, you were. couldn't step out of the uh, tracks. Out of the tracks. Uh, Another game that we played was called Baby in the Hole, and you just dug out a few little holes, and you had a tennis ball down there, and and uh, again somebody was in, and they would try and roll. Everybody was stationed by a by a hole. The whole group of little kids. The one that was it, usually my dad would roll the ball towards their little little uh, hole, it was kind of early putting, I think, and if he could get it in, drop it in your, in the little hole, and you had to bend over and he could throw the tennis ball at you. <laughs> 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 Sounds like a great uh, game. I think that was before Capture the Flag. <laughs> that, no, no, it's, Capture the Flag, I remember playing that a lot. And what was that game? What, uh, how did that work? Well, two teams? Two teams, and we had, there was one flag in the middle, wasn't there? Just one flag and then I, no, I don't remember this one as well. Oh, either. we used to play on the beach all the time. I guess. But I don't remember how it And you retrieved yeah. the flag. Somebody had to get it back behind their lines, I think. Mm -hmm. Before, I don't remember how we played that. But that was... Uh, what, what kind of things did you do on rainy days? Uh, you mentioned... I read comic books, didn't we? <laughs> I knew she said. I told her. Okay, <laughs> and what about this, this comic book collection? Uh, Famous. Oh, well, we just had lots of comic books. Uh, uh, that you would buy, that well, your dad I mean, would buy? Well, I had them. had them. I uh -huh. mean, I collected them uh -huh. and had stacks and stacks of them. And we used to sit up in the tunnels up <laughs> in this cottage, up in the tunnels with little lamps in there and read comic books. In this and cottage paper dolls. that we're in now, your present cottage? Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of comic books? Do you remember some of the titles? Who were the characters? I mean, we would have, at our age, it would be Superman. And well, we had Superman. Well, did you have we sure, had Superman. Batman, Superman? We had Batman and Superman, but that's... They, they were, were probably the two of our most famous yeah, ones. Yeah, action comics. Did those come out every week or once a month or how? Uh, oh, I think they, they, were, tense, out they were tense. They were tense. I think they the, came those out once. They were in one. Archie. No, that's I don't know that we got in Archie. No, yeah. he wasn't exciting enough or something, I guess. <laughs> no, I don't think they even had them no, when we were little, and I don't remember... Do you remember any others? Were, were no, but I sure wish I still had detectives. a Mickey Mouse. I'm sure we oh, did. isn't that a shame that uh, those got... Yeah. You had Mickey Mouse? Oh, did you have, like, Dick Tracy? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 No orphan Annie. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm sure we... And the, one of the other things that more up at our end of the lake on a rainy day, uh, Mrs. Lockwood, we called her Grandma Lockwood, who they were in the cottage that the Dorts are in now, and she collected funny papers. She kept the Sunday, oh. the Sunday comics from years and years back, and this was when, when I was 
small, and she'd had them for 20 years before that. <laughs> and we were we could go that. out on her porch on a rainy day and go through the the old comics. I and thought I Lockwood's think, own Nichols Cottage, Staley's Cottage. I think that was another. Oh, I'm not oh. sure, but uh, the, well, the, the ones that were up, that were some of the very early ones, were, um, uh, were, were which is now Dort's. Cool. Wow. Well, you also mentioned um, earlier something about Pitkin's Drug Store, Sunken Garden. Well, Could we you elaborate we on that? <laughs> we yeah, yeah. I mean, how old were you? Teenagers. Enough to, of course, you were older, so you could drive. Here, here, here. Although, although, again, I hit driving right through the Warriors and there was no gas. I didn't that's even right. learn to drive till yeah. I was about 17 years oh, old because that's true, yeah. there was no gas to go around teaching somebody and, you know, Well, how did learning. we get there then? I have the same <laughs> idea. Did you, take, <laughs> did you take the ferry boats? No, no. no. They didn't have boats then. No, no train, train bus. Well, somebody must have had gas because we got yeah, there. We somehow we were or there. Or we rode in with our parents. Or and they must they have gone shopping. shopping and we stayed and there was a And we just sat in the, they had a... Uh, booths in the back yeah. of Pitkins, and we is just, this where their sunken gift yeah, shop is? That's yeah. why it's called the sunken, sunken gift shop. Okay. Garden, yeah. So I remember it as being bigger than that little. Yeah, it was. It, it was, was a be whole a end, really, the back, <coughs> the whole back end. I think of it the went across to where the alley is through, to, uh, even and had to because that alley backs yeah, right well, up onto it now. Through the alley, but the alley wasn't there. It wasn't. I, I thought there was a back stairs there. And that's where they made the ice cream upstairs, didn't they? Uh, yes. Yes, they did. So you guys would get ice cream and sodas yeah, and Sundays. How much did a Coke cost? <laughs> Five cents. <laughs> Five no, that cents was they, they still had the old, uh, for a long time, they had the soda fountain yeah. in the main part of the drugstore. Yeah, that was in the front, yeah, but this was a sitting place. And they had jukeboxes. Yes, had, that's right. There was jukeboxes yeah. and there was the front, or the center was kind of open. The, the yeah, and then it was all around the center of the place. I don't remember place, dancing had, or anything, do you? No, but you just put your nickel in the yeah. jukebox. That, Sitting right there by your booth. Who'd you listen to? Oh, music. <laughs> well, yeah, but at this Real time, music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Frank Sinatra. Yeah. No, that he came later. Really well, bad. I don't I remember what we listened. Yeah, I suppose he came. I think when I was in junior high, so I must. Things like uh, Woody Herman and yeah. and, and uh, Kay Kaiser. The big bands. The yeah. big bands. Yeah. Tommy like, Dorsey. Big right? bands. And Glenn Miller. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Real music. <laughs> Um, any other things you might do on rainy days? Did you have any? Well, we sat and played cards at the yacht club a lot. I remember no, at the yacht club. Yeah. Um, did you ever play a game called pig? Yes. <laughs> See, it goes from generation to generation. <laughs> I mean, it's back or it's gone? Well, I just remember playing it, and I was trying to think. And with the finger up. Well, yep, with your finger on the nose if you were the last person yeah. type thing. Uh, what other kind of things would you do at, uh, on rainy days? Well, we'd hang around the, the Wild Club. Yeah. Raise hell down there. Just get in people's way, I suppose. <laughs> okay, well now um, to switch the subject to something a little more specific as far as places on the beach. You were earlier talking a little bit about the arcade. And did you want to pick that up at this time or what you were talking about? or? You mean um, the setup of it, or well, I think at that time you all were discussing <coughs> about the ferry boats coming in and dropping the uh, people off, and then we talked a little bit about the grocery store and and things like well, that. Well, the arcade was kind of the central core, I think, of Southern yeah. Beach. And remember, we used to have a cop down there. Yes, there was a, there always was a, a policeman and a policeman stop helped everybody sign. helped everybody across the street. Mm -hmm. Portable stop, well. No. Stop sign for Mer Raleigh, Ra 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 Raleigh Merrick. Raleigh Merrick. That was the, <laughs> that was the, the yellow, cop's name. Yellow yeah. uniform or a funny yeah. little, he looked more like a fireman, didn't he? A little <laughs> cap. And he, would but, just, uh, he helped all the little children, children across the so. street. And, we and was he there all day? Calls. Just about, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And who and the association actually employed him? We don't really know. Was he from the town? Or? I think so. I don't they think he was, uh, mm -hmm. certainly the police department, I don't think sent somebody. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you, you you spend a lot of time there. You swam at the dock, and you yeah. kids went you went down, down for the mail and socialized. Yeah. Um, <coughs> how about the ice cream parlor that was in there? Especially well, after Sunday, after the ball game. It was more or less just a counter, wasn't it? I don't remember. Well, on the out on, there was the porch that that went out mm -hmm. over the water, and uh, I don't remember, you remember getting the orange bi Byerleys. Byer Byerleys. 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 Yeah, orange. orange. <laughs> throwing, Byerleys the bottle, orange. throwing the bottle caps over the porch into the water. <laughs> 
the water right there was for millions of bottle caps for years. <laughs> well, they were they were like foil caps. Uh, I guess they so. weren't bottle caps. They weren't caps, the metal, metal ones mm -hmm. with little grooves. That was also during the war. Mm -hmm. You consider yourself environmentalist at that time? <laughs> no, we never <laughs> no, thought we about that. No, we didn't worry about it. But no, we're talking barley. I love that barley. I did too. That was my favorite. <laughs> that was a soda pop barley. It was orange. uncarbonated orange drink. Mm -hmm. And there was one called Oso Grape. Yeah, <laughs> they had great barley. They had great yeah, barley. That wasn't too. as good as the orange. No. And, and about how old were you guys then when this was a big uh, interest then? To it was you know, I think no, early go. teens more so than later on when yeah. we got more yacht yeah. clubs type yeah. of stuff. Uh, yeah, early teens. But especially after Sundays uh, after the so about what year men. would that be? I mean, what just throw out a forties, early forties, early forties. Mm -hmm. Okay. After the Sunday baseball games that the, yeah. the men, the daddies played in, yeah. not not so many of the young people, but uh, then everybody well, got to. Well, it was to, father and son too. Wasn't sometimes, it? yes. At the, yeah. Uh, discrimination, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> harassment, or something. Did you guys ever go into the gift shops or the nope. uh, next? Now, see, I don't even remember that. See, I don't okay. go into gift shop now, and I don't remember going. No, into it, that it, one was, it wasn't for children. It was definitely, and she had nice things. I don't know. See, I don't even remember going uh, in there. Okay. And I can just remember going in and looking around a little bit, but never buy. I didn't buy anything. Mm -hmm. um, any particular rem remembrances about the ferry boats? Uh, so you mean the car ferry or the? Well, either. In, the, in fact, if you would explain the car ferry, as far as the ferry. The that car went ferry was down at Murray's, Murray's Inn, and you could ride across the channel. That was the only way to easily get across the channel without driving all the way around. And, about and you drove your car cost? on, and what was it about? It was about a nickel for a person. I yeah, 40 know. cents for the car or something. There was room for four cars. Yeah. And it was a hand up. Was it hand up? It was a big cable. But did he yeah. have to pull it, or, or did he wind it, or maybe there was an electric motor of some kind. But, uh, but it was a sunken cable, and of course it rose as you brought the boat along. And uh, it's been just some owners much later on of Murray's wanted to try and and, uh, and do that again. But of course it would be impossible with the boat traffic now that goes well, back and forth. Well, the cable. Was sunk, wasn't it? Yes, but it came up as, you, as, oh, yeah, as, as, right. as yeah, the ferry park went along, and then it would sink back yeah. again. So uh, that was just not practical to try and do it. But it would be wonderful not to have to drive around the lake if you wanted <laughs> to go further up north. Or um, how about uh, the ark? That was where you bought worms. <laughs> they also sat around and fished. Yeah, course, if you wanted to fish, especially in the winter, if. Uh, uh, oh, excuse me. Back to the arcade. You talked about uh, a water show. What uh, what was that? Well, the water show was put on by the swimming teacher, who taught everybody swimming. Just about. And she had this great big long pole that she'd hook onto your bathing suit. <laughs> if you didn't do things right, he'd poke you with his pole. <laughs> And what, when you say a water show, what well, was the it was, it? The whole uh, RV dock was decorated and you did relays and the girls and the boys had different things and we had decorated canoes and there was it was some, a show. You know, what were those long jousting posts yeah. that, that were wrapped on the end and you tried to, two knock canoes, you tried to knock the, the other guy out of his canoe? Or, and also walking across the bar. Yep, uh, yeah. Who came to the show? All the parents, oh, just like the <laughs> did they pay to come to it? I don't think I so. That don't was, think so. That was, uh, they paid enough for the swimming lessons. Yeah, they, this was the culmination of your. It's like <laughs> went so this was held in August. Then I take yeah, it. Usually, sure. I think just near the end of the season, yeah, probably. probably. And was this an annual every year, or for as long as she taught there? I think she yeah. did something. Well, she like started it. teaching over at the art club, mm -hmm. and then she moved over here. And, uh, the art club pool. <laughs> did the boys wear bathing caps? No, the boys no, didn't, but, but the girls certainly never did. understood why we were we were completely soaked anyway, but we always wore bathing caps right down over our <laughs> Awful, I guess. Yeah. You were tan. You know, your face was tan, but there was a big white ring all around it and underneath your chin where the strap came. <laughs> that, that was before we was lived. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, let's uh, how about, let's talk about the Sylvan Beach baseball team, especially in reference to your daddy. Well, um, they did, they had a real team right. in the old days. Right. And they used to play the different locations around the lake. But, but yeah, they, I, I wasn't 
didn't know that at all because we oh. had no photographs. You you had oh, there's a lot. There's so every there's, every record of every game. I mean, you had the uh, some programs or the yeah, uh, the yeah. list Star of schedule schedule schedule. Yeah, but that uh, was Michelinda and Garner's San and Juan, San Juan, Juan something called Cherokee. I don't know I never heard that Cherokee. Was. But, uh, but then they used to have baseball games on Sunday afternoons. Mm -hmm. uh, that was down, down in the ball field. There was, there was bleachers down there yeah. too. About three we had to all go and sit there and be chewed up by mosquitoes. Oh my! Yes, it was. It was <laughs> hot too. I remember being hot and dusty. Oh, and it was awful. <laughs> we had to go yeah, and so sit. The minute the game was over, everybody ran and jumped right in the lake with their clothes on <laughs> just to get out of that baseball field. And then, field. then the got, daddies would buy us a chocolate sundae. <laughs> Now, but this is different yeah. than what Betty's talking about no, as no. far as her dad playing. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, See, we don't that. remember any of that. Right. No. Okay. But your they dad, had your real dad teams. was the pitcher, and my father was the relief pitcher. Oh, I was that the I, yes, I didn't study from a study program the in, <laughs> in fact, they refer to your daddy as our man, meaning Sylvan Beach, as man in the box. Oh, well, I didn't <laughs> know that. As the star pitcher. I so. didn't know that. And I think they won 10 out of 10 games. Oh, good so. for them. Sounds like he had a good arm. Yeah. Um, so then you would not know, as far as like in Dave Forbes' book, when he talks about indoor baseball being played outdoors, it seems to me like he's trying to say that that's the introduction of softball, but that you would oh, know. Oh, it was think softball. It well, was, I don't know about never, theirs, I've but that's what we indoor played. baseball, have you? No, mm -hmm. but I think they definitely played oh, softball. Oh, yes, that's, it was okay. a big, great, big. Big ball. Huge ball. So then, okay, so then there's the professional team, so, so to speak, uh, <clears throat> when your daddy played. In his album, he marks the team with the name Tigers. I was wondering if that, if they well, had that name. Beach Tigers, I don't know. If that's what it said. Okay. Um, and then your recollection recollection of softball is a Later dad's on, Sunday, maybe Sunday sons. afternoon uh, sun okay well, and sometimes got, it was just sons too wasn't it I mean maybe maybe later I only remember just, the I don't even remember the sons particularly mostly it was the the fathers well, that I remember but uh, you know, they, they could well, have, it seemed like everybody got out there probably well where they could gather Michelin to people and some yeah, beach people where'd you played. get the ice cream afterwards at, at, the, arcade. The, at the arcade the little the little uh, shop um, let's see, how about the Yacht Club? Uh, did you all attend sailing school? Yep. Mm -hmm. And what did you, how was that? Uh, was it a good experience for you? Who were your instructors? Uh, mm -hmm. What kind of boats did you sail? We sailed cat, sea boats. Yeah. Or do we you on uh, well, ease? I uh, <laughs> actually, uh, we, our family was very good uh, friends with the Sidonies, and uh, they had an A boat. Oh. The biggie. <laughs> And I think oh. I was only like seven years old, and I forget. You gotta put that in. There. I forget put that what in you were mouth. supposed to be. I forget what the. Uh, that was the old days. Yes, yes. What the uh, age limit was? Twelve to, to twelve. Okay, well I was seven. Oh, wait, oh. Here, hold and up again. I, I was just, just got a friend, and, and so I think I had to take it three years before well, I. Well, in the old it. days, though, it was a one-year course. Yes, but I had to take it three times. <laughs> <laughs> well, now see, Neil Manny was my first instructor, and Jim Jim Butterfield was my. Second, I think I took it twice. I don't well, you don't remember. remember? I can't remember who my How about races? Uh, when you did you race? Did you crew? Oh yeah, mm, yeah I crewed with Margie Navin and the White Flyer. A big thing. Did it's you race every you Saturday? Yeah, yeah. It was, well, I thought so because there was the the junior races were twice a week, Tuesdays yeah. and Thursdays, and then the senior races were on Saturdays, and I think you could sail in all of them. Could, or, yeah. or you could sail them all, but the seniors couldn't sail yeah, in the, in they the junior sail races. The so were you guys, did they have a junior yacht club? So yes, yeah. very, very, oh, very yeah. active. Every Thursday night. Right. We Watch. had mo moonlight sails, which they now <laughs> wouldn't do at all. It would be they would, and why don't they we do never wore, anymore? we never wore life jackets or no. ski things. We would sail at night in the dark. Oh wow! No what kind of boats would you take out? Cat then? boats mostly. Cat boats, yeah. yeah. Sea okay. boats. Yeah, sea boats. And of course, you got jumped in the water and tried to tie a bucket on somebody's <laughs> rudder <laughs> underneath. Who were some of the people involved in these moonlight sails? <laughs> well, I think the gang Just, that was in the yeah, pictures there, yeah. the Dwayne uh, and uh, Bruce, Bruce and Bill Hodson and Tommy and from the yacht club, Tommy Getz and Gordon Ainsworth yeah. and Bob Christie and. How about the dances at the Yacht Club? Where did you guys go to the dances? Oh, yeah. uh, what kind of dances did they have? 
normal dances. Normal every day. Yes. Well, normal we, dances. We we besides things other. like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about things like, did they have square dances? They had them on yeah. Wednesdays, but I think mm -hmm. that was later, wasn't it? Later, and, yes, and of course they had them at the Wob Club a long time ago, too. Wednesday night square yeah. dances and Saturday night. Well, I think uh, they had them at the Wob Club after they quit them at the Yacht Club. Well, that, that, well, the, or reversed. It was, when, it was when before, like before my mother and dad were oh, married. Oh, well, maybe they had them before then. And they had the, the, com the uh, musicians oh, and they from the University had of Chicago. Where, or were they from Michigan? Or the, the three guys, and they lived at the Wob oh, Club, and they played. Yeah. The, oh, Those are dances at the Wob Club, Well, then they used to have dances, square dances at well, Schiller's. Sure, fine. Yeah, but they had a square. They had square dances at the Wob Club oh, yeah. on Wednesdays, uh, and and Saturday night dances, or the other way around. I don't know, but there was a lot of activity at the Wob Club in our in our folks' day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then in your day was a, a lot of the activity besides there in the Ark, but at the Yacht Club. Not the Ark. We didn't have. Or I'm, I'm sorry, the arcade. They don't really know yeah. where they are. <laughs> you know, that was more of our center. And yeah. the, the, to me, the, the Bob Club was not as active in our, we were around. Yeah. But we were more at the, at the Yacht Club when as we, we got to be later were, teenagers. Yeah. Okay. Um, there is a mention uh, in uh, Forbes' book as far as Miss, Mrs. Samuel R. Post being chairman of Sailor's Lunch in about 1945. She was one of the ones that started it. Okay. Um, can you elaborate on that at all? Or? His mother told me, I think they said that because of the races, everybody was getting hungry, and the mothers got together and decided they would take some food over there, and it just grew. From and they'd there? take turns making the mm -hmm. food. They didn't have it catered. No, well, I think they did that right up to not too long ago, that it's been yeah. catered, hasn't it? Yeah. That it was all done by the mothers. Yeah. And every year there was a chairman and volunteers. and uh, It was like a quarter. <laughs> Very inexpensive, and it wasn't. Yeah. But they had lovely big things of spaghetti or hot dogs, yeah. and just so you could eat because eat there was morning, the races. morning races and afternoon, yeah. sometimes two two races on Saturdays. Okay, then uh, actually going to the Wabaninga Club, there's another mention in Forbes book about Sam Post Senior. Now, would that be your granddad? Doing what? Uh, collecting each Wednesday and Saturday night admission fees for the dances. That's Daddy. That's your dad. That's my father. Okay. The money he, man. Would, he would sit with your dad. Probably. Probably the two so. of them all was sat wherever there was any collecting to do. Yeah. They just sat there and smoked their pipe and their cigar. So, took in the money. <laughs> took in the money. That's all they did. <laughs> well, we come by and ask yeah. so we do it by right. Robin's we, did. <laughs> we did the same thing. Betty and I always get the sitting down jobs. <laughs> that was my father, right. <laughs> Uh, okay, and uh, now these dances, as far as who would attend them, would it be also his generation, his, or the yeah, kids? All generations. Okay, was, everybody'd come. Yeah, it was a family affair in uh -huh. those days. And about how long would they last? If, if you got there at 9 o'clock, you were too early, wouldn't you say, Barbara? <laughs> I never went to one. I don't, I don't you ever. You didn't go any dances at the Yacht Club? Oh, not the Yacht Club, but you're No, not. no, this is the Wob, I think Wob and Ingo. Oh, I don't remember any dances no, at I never the went Wob to Club. I don't okay. remember those. Okay. Uh, they also mentioned something about uh, card parties in the Wob and Ingo Club every Thursday afternoon. Any reminiscences well, as see, far as, again, old, before yeah, This is pretty long ago stuff mm -hmm. with the ping pong table and a billiard table. I don't remember a billiard in there. table. No, I don't either, but. Okay. And then also in that old time, uh, they had an annual bazaar and an auction, I guess, that the ladies made food for and everybody donated things and raised money. Would there be any reminiscence about that? Is that like that poster that we that Mother had and I also have on the Wabaningo Wow? And there was, uh, it was like a party and then there was uh, food, there was contests, there was the prettiest man or girl, the ugliest man. Uh, <laughs> the homeliest man. The homeliest man. Were they really uh, tagged people with that? Yeah. <laughs> in those days, it was all been fun. Um, Whatever happened to the ar or to the arcade? If it was so popular, why? They tore it down. Why? Why did they tear that down? I often wondered. Of course, it was it was in and they had the fire shape. station it next was, door. It was yeah, and there was an ice house too down in there at one time. The ice house was cellars. Uh, well, they moved that back, cellars. didn't they? Or, or was I thought it was down on the shore, but I don't remember. When did they tear it down? What year? We all have to look that up it's because all we've been asking that, and I that must like, be in uh, book. Yeah, right? yeah. So I guess it was, it was in bad repair, in the and, 40s. and of course by then the road had 
a lot more traffic on it had been paved and, and the, it was so close to the road and the tennis courts were on the other side yeah, it, it was, was practically on the road almost so it was kind of a dangerous spot too because there was so much back and forth there still is but when that was there well, was, I just remember everybody was so sad when they tore, yeah. tore that down it was uh, as far as church in the Wabanigo Club, there's a reference in Forbes' book as far as uh, Mrs. R. Samuel Post. Well, that's because everyone called Daddy Rollo. Okay. So that would be your mom, Jessie. No, 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 that's my grandmother. That's your grandmother. So uh, your mom, Bess. Okay. Um, that she often donated flowers. Oh, yeah. Everybody took their turn at that. Uh -huh. But Mother did it quite a bit. Now, were these flowers that she would grow? or No, they had vases. No, not in our cottage. We didn't grow any flowers. <laughs> they had vases that they passed from one person to the other as to who was going to fill them. So they'd take them into town, and somebody would fill the vases, and they'd bring them to church. Can't grow flowers in the dunes? No, we didn't have any flowers in the dunes. <clears throat> and I, let's see, uh, Grandfather Devine was quite instrumental oh, with me uh, in the getting the ministers and things like that yeah. and, and he was the one that said there's to be no tennis yeah, during during church services. Well that was when it wasn't even close. I mean it wasn't right <laughs> no, next that, door. No, that's right. It was that, <laughs> and not only that you couldn't drive your boat by the by the old by the church. Be, and of course I still tell the kids that they can't go drive the boat power boats by the well, church. Well that's that's very and it's, it's the way it should be. Yeah. Okay, uh let's see then moving on to some excursions or locations that are around Sylvan Beach, uh, how about Duck Lake? It seems particularly that your uh, dad and our grandmother Peggy, their group, used they to take always went take there. A, I mean, at least we've got pictures of them. Right. Yeah, lots of Duck Lake groups. They must have gone there to swim and play. And Do you know any uh, well, we anything too. specific yeah, not, not re uh, reminiscence about that from your dad's time? No. Okay. How about from your time? Well, from our time, we used to go down there at night and make a beach fires at Duck Lake. Some. I don't remember doing that a lot. But well, not a lot, but I remember right on right there on the hill. When we, uh, how'd you mm -hmm. get there? Drove. Mm -hmm. Randy used to walk down there and spend the night, didn't they? I did. Yeah. That's what I heard. I don't know. Maybe you got some information that I didn't get. <laughs> you know things we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Rumor has it. Um, how about uh, Pigeon Hill? Oh, we always have to go to Pigeon Hill. At least once a year or more. Yeah. And can you describe that venture for me? Sometimes we went in that, what was the name of that big boat? Well, we went in the canoe. We took the Yeah, we canoe. always went in the went canoe, in. but I mean oh. when everybody went. Then we went in that big thing that... Uh, kind of a launch type yeah, of thing. Yeah, that big boat that did it belong to the Yacht Club or did it belong to somebody? I forget the name of it. I don't know if it was private or, or whether it belonged to the Yacht Club, but yes, we'd go in. That big of course, thing. again, have a beach fire and I'll climb up the dune and But when you went by yourself or with a few people, just then you'd go in a canoe and uh, park there at the Old Channel Inn. And we certainly weren't worried about dunes then, unfortunately. And so you would go down, down the Old Channel right. We'd go down the Old Channel, get. but when we went in a boat, we went out the channel and, and around. It wasn't around. far. It's really quite close. Yeah. It seems, when you went in the canoe, it seemed like it took forever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess I'm not understanding And the bridges were a lot higher. Too. Did you get to Pigeon Hill then through the old channel you and then walk, walk by or did you, uh, what about, did anyone ever go out the government channel? That's just what Betty said when we took when a you go, boat. When you go by boat, you go out the government channel. Okay. When you go in a canoe, you go down the old channel and you leave your canoe right there in front of the old channel in and just as walk a, through. Just a low place, very, well, it's public asset yeah. access, and you, it's just a small area to go right through, and then you're on the Michigan shore. And you walk down a little ways, and then you climb. Uh-huh. And that, so that was the entertainment, though, was to walk up this humongous sand dune and... See and how much uh, stuff you could carry to take up with you. <laughs> run down and... Would you stay up there? Well, for uh, the evening. Yeah, we would try and have the picnic up on the top, yeah. up on the top yeah. because yeah. that was the... Oh, yeah, thing. so you would build a fire and... Yeah. And then what? Roast marshmallows, or I did think you it do was that at that beer. time? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Let's get the real truth. I think it was more of a How bear old party were you this time. I don't know. Thirteen. Oh, well, we'll Fifteen years. Let's say old enough to have beer. Oh, okay. But not necessarily. So you used to go out at night, at night, and go across the channel and have beer parties on the other side of the channel. See, we had no fear. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> uh, why do you think our parents got Gray's Laurel? <laughs> if we only knew this when we were growing we up. Yeah. yeah. Well, you mean you didn't? <laughs> How do we know? At least because, not openly. Uh, um, and then speaking of the old channel, would you all go down the old channel uh, very often just to be in the old channel? When you felt like it, I guess. I mean, we'll catch turtles or... Yeah, we went as a family, not yeah, so much as, not as so a much gang, gang or gang young, young people. people. No, no, on the water know. lilies and the turtles and the... Or if you had a guest up there, you'd take them down the old channel. That was always something to show them because it was yeah. quite a, interesting and different. Yeah thing to do. How about um, the lighthouse uh, or the end of the government pier? Did you ever... Um, well, we have movies of walking out the end yeah, of the pier. Big, but, uh, big deal, you walked out. You walked out, <laughs> <laughs> you walk out, walk back. <laughs> um, how about the Coast Guard Life Station? Yeah, we went over there and toured in there. Mm -hmm. And I know she has several good pictures of that. Okay. Uh, what about Murray's Inn? Did you ever frequent Murray's Inn? Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. they used to have pinball down there. and Puppet, course, show, puppet shows? Puppet, oh, we went to puppet shows. Now, were those, the you, they had puppet shows then? Yeah, they had puppet Saturday, shows. Saturday, so Saturday we, mornings or something like that? Or, no, I don't they were when. Sunday nights. Sunday nights, Sunday but you, night you, had puppet to, shows. you had to pay for those, didn't you? No, did, no they, were, okay. they were for the guests of Murray's Inn, but okay. they didn't care who went. But I can remember, so we, my folks weren't too happy about us going down when we were smaller to Mary's Inn because that was supposed to be well, we not the best place in the world because there was a pinball, pinball machine, machine. And, and fishermen who they didn't know sometimes <laughs> came in there. But do you remember going to the Sun Beach Hotel and playing the slot machines? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they had gambling up here? Uh, well, I guess they did. Uh, one arm bandit yeah. type mm -hmm. slot machines? Yeah. Uh, what would you plug in there, a nickel? or Plug in. Oh. Well, put in a yeah, nickel. nickels. Yeah. And wh wh is it the type that had fruit rolling yeah. up on it? Or? Oh, yes. Okay, and then what would the payoff would be what was ever in the belly yeah. of the... Yeah. Did anybody Just ever like win? I've got or, home. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Anybody ever win oh, well, or yeah, that you sure. remember? I guess I don't... Every once in a while, sure. Mm -hmm. Win something, but... Dinner, yeah, and, but that this at is a, Murray's Inn. At Murray's Inn, but this is a throwback. But during the war, we went to the hotel a lot for dinner oh, because yeah. of rationing. And but yeah. you could get meat there. Um, yeah. uh, Which uh, war was that? <laughs> but, <laughs> well, it could be you know Korean or no, that's no, the hotel wasn't here. Yeah. Yeah. So you could only get meat if you went out. To Thank you. Dinner. Just about because you were definitely uh, to get a steak, you had to pool the whole family's ration stamps. For a month or something like that. The same with shoes. You only know what two pair a year. The soles, oh, the soles were cardboard. <laughs> yeah, but, so, but a lot of it. Anyway, so during that time, time, you would go to the Sun Beach. You would go to Sun Beach Hotel or to Murray's Inn. Or to Murray's uh -huh. for out to dinner once a week, just for a treat. You know? I tell see. Him to, you tell him to stop. <laughs> Bryce, knock it off. Okay. Um, uh, so about the dinners at uh, Murray's Inn, you would just go in your jeans or no, I you would dress up as a, a family. family. Yeah, oh, I was, was a family. more dressy. Oh, you got, you got, get oh, you dressed, got dressed up. I mean, a casual but clean. Yeah, yeah but casual. you don't go. You didn't go like you do now, as as is. Um, all right. So that covers Murray's Inn pretty well. How about the drum room? The drum room was past our. Well, yeah, we're, well, you didn't uh, have any. No, that was. It was right. only, up there, party up there once in my life, and that was, I think, when you all were doing it, and okay. somehow the mothers got to come up and <laughs> check, check on us. Check check out. Out, I <laughs> Ooh, I didn't know about that. Okay. Um, anything about uh, Miss Shalinda? That's a little bit of a stretch, but would you have any relationship with Miss Shalinda? Lodge or those folks. Well, we went there for dinner or, occasionally, but uh, we, didn't, we didn't too much. But we just knew the people the, the, the young people who were our own age. Were uh, of course they spent a lot of time at the yacht club, and so did we. Uh, beaches. We had our own beaches. Yeah, mostly they had their beaches. They had their beaches, but occasionally there would be beach parties yeah. together. But not as much. We were pretty much still in the yeah. middle of Michelin. Do about, you re uh, go ahead, Bryce. What about Russ and Trudy's? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you always had to go to Russ and Trudy's. Was that the pickle barrel? It was or the, the duck. Barrel. Oh, that was pickle barrel. Pickle, pickle barrel. barrel. The Marats was the was the duck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was, was that the the after the arcade closed? Is that when Russ and Trudy's came on? Yeah, probably was. Kind well, of. Yeah. I don't really re going as a as a young person uh, having any particular. In fact, I was married before I even went to the, the, the White Duck, and that was when it was just a stand. Just a stand with a window in it. With a French, with the, you know, kind of a tilted yeah. front where the, all the vegetables and fruits were put out. And you yeah, had to but reach well, over Trudy, Trudy was always there, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Well, and that was their home, wasn't it? Yeah, next, right next, next door. door. Yeah. Um, okay, this is, uh, I'm just going to throw out a few things to you as far as, and if you remember anything um, that's n uh, notable about the subject, that would be great. Um, this is fairly generic, but say in the landscape of the association, particularly you all being on the Lake Michigan side, um, does it seem pretty much the same? Have you lost a lot of dunes? Uh, well, I always remember dunes out in the front. I mean, we just had to go quite a ways to the lake. And, uh, there were always a lot of dunes. Um, do remember you we used to play down in the pump house, remember the... Mm -hmm. Down at the, the Morier Arm, and, and, and we had yeah, to, we were dunes. higher up. You were closer to the water, you, and you had more dune grass area yeah, than we did. But we'd play the, at the pump, pump house being the water pump house on Lake Michigan. Get the other phone. Or are you turning it off? Hey, uh, mm -hmm. Hillens there. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, some of that's uncovered. But we used to now. play down in that area a lot. With and then when the water Stewart. was so uh, um, so high, it was high or low. One year when it, the foundation came out, uh, well, I don't remember that. back there on the big cement. Uh, but there were so many dunes down there that you could mm -hmm. just hide huh. behind them and run around. And that's where we played capture the flag. And, but there was a lot more. Is this still filming? I think it yeah, is. Yeah, he's got it out. Oh, okay. oh, I, oh, was that what he did? <laughs> yeah. Okay. There, was, See, there, was a, off yeah. The <laughs> there were a lot more uh, people here. I mean, in those days, everybody was here all summer, yeah. and everybody knew each other. A lot of people mention that as one of the big differences. Yeah, it is. As it's far a, as people was, being able to was, stay the length of time. And it was much more self-contained. We were not running into Muskegon no, to the movies yeah. or, or really so into we did town very too. much. Well, I moved yeah. out later on, but... Uh, what about, um, do you recall anything as far as the dunes lacking a lot of trees? And in Forbes book he talks about how they planted a lot of trees up on the Michelinda landing. Michelinda. Uh, Michelinda dock landing, you know, like where the... You're talking about, You're talking about well, it's about like where Lakeside is now. Oh. I was wondering if you might have it. Any knowledge of that being uh, the yeah, salad? Well, I remember we used to go over there and hunt turtle eggs over yeah. in the... <laughs> turtle <laughs> eggs? I don't remember it being called Michelin. It was no, it was Lakeside. It was Lakeside. Oh, okay. I don't know where Michelin it was. is well, up here on the other end. Uh, but we used to go over in that... There used to be a big dune where that <coughs> house is now, that guy... The new oh, house, Fra of Frank Mull's house. Yeah, yeah. That big. That, we used to Where go over there, there and then we hunt, right down to the hunt for floor. turtle eggs over there. Hmm. They look just like ping pong balls. <laughs> and then when you found them, what would you do? Just point them out, or, or play with them, or yeah. put them back, or something. I don't remember what we did do with them, but we'd also. Bryce would like to get that in too. We, we went to visit the parrot. You remember that? No. You don't remember that old a, parrot? A that, parrot? No. In that house across from Lakeside. That parrot was lived to be a hundred years old. We I used don't to go. That. And I was never taken to see the parrot. You didn't see the parrot. Bryce, oh, Bryce did, but are you back? It's uh -oh. beeping. No, no, no. It's we're talking name. about the parrot. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, oh, the parrot down by the, Bar by the lakeside. Barb said she never saw, saw the parrot, and the we were kids, and we used to go stand outside the window of that little house that's still there yeah, and talk to old, this parrot. Yeah, um, I missed lakeside. out on something here. <laughs> yeah. well, when you say down by Lakeside, it Cross was at, from Lakeside. Uh, next door to it? Across the road. Across the road. Oh, the road. Okay. There's a little house there, and in the side window, they had this parrot. And the lady's husband uh, owned a bait shop. The and bait shop said, right there at the Ark. Right. Well, once they closed the Ark, he moved it into his house where the parrot was. Oh, I don't remember the that. The parrot was eating up all the profits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, it's back on. Okay. Um, how about levels of the lake water? Uh, of course, they rise and fall. But is there any particular time that you remember of being to be noteworthy? I remember the era of the alewives. Yeah, mm -hmm. not the big know. fish kill. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was awful. Two, uh, oh, shovel. Two to three you. years, and it smelled, and the flies came to eat. Oh, you know? and you'd have to shovel them out and yeah, use you the couldn't beach. even burn them. You had but to as far as them. the lake level, I think it just like you say, it rose and it fell. You deal with it. Whatever happens, if you have to put in sea walls when it comes way up, you do. And if, of course, when it got so close to the cottage that we had to move back, yeah, there was a lot of having to move back. <laughs> right. Um, about that, uh, I can recall as a child that it seemed like a very terrifying walk down your 
into Throw your driveway, driveway <laughs> to get to your house, of course, which now is all gone, but yeah. uh, would that be a correct remembrance? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. I didn't know as a kid, well, it you seemed have, you pretty scary. You used to have a flashlight, probably. Yeah, really dark. Really and very it was dark and gloomy, and you could walk into cobwebs and <laughs> mosquitoes, and, so and when it was the, not fun to go home. So <laughs> when the water came up and you guys moved your cottage back, you had to get rid of all those woods, or they just... Well, uh, no, terry berries moved back first, see? Okay. and terry berries and siblings moved back first, and then, so they closed the road uh, to our cottage. So then they built a new road to come on, to come in, so we could get in down that's below it. here, okay. the old road, right, right at the brow right. of the hill. So that that's, right. that's a dead end. I didn't yeah, remember I that. Mm -hmm. How about um, fires? The worst fires that you remember? Well, the worst fires, we weren't here for the one Labor up in the, the winter top time of the hill. Yeah. And, but I do remember that one of the things we did when we rented the McClinic Cottage was it was a great fun to go up on the top of the hill and dig through and see what you could salvage. Yes, there was uh, <laughs> Find the prizes. Well, I think you've seen some of the pictures and, that Mother oh, has. Oh, as far as the vacant lots of where the uh, just 36 chim chimneys, fire. Chimneys, well, cottage, right, yeah. wasn't it? And the seven that burned, that took them a couple of years to clean that up and rebuild some. Well, of they didn't just, rebuild all of the seven. So you what, guys no, what seven are you talking about? Well, I'm, st I'm sorry, I was talking about the one up at um, at, uh, on the White Lake side. Oh, no, I'm talking about the one up on top of the hill where Rice's are now, up there. Uh, uh, see, I remember puts. the Garens. No, I remember and that fire. And there, was and the a, there was a fire up at uh, where Sellers. Yeah, right Rice's in the middle of that. And we used to walk one. down the beach and climb up the hill and sift through the rubble and find pieces <laughs> of silverware and <laughs> treasure. <laughs> and that, was really, we were, that was before we built this cottage. So, so you were. What about a uh, worst storm? Any particular s storm or? Well, I remember we always had to rush for the boats. That was one of the highlights of the summer. Yeah, you always we waited to... for the <laughs> the big east wind storm, and, and of course the boats were then all out in buoys. There was yeah, nothing didn't have pulled up no, on the shore. No lifts. No lifts, and, and you didn't pull them up on the shore either. No. There, there were bigger boats, and they were all out on buoys. Well, half of them would always break loose. <laughs> Much excitement, all the fellows yeah, would yeah. come, and they'd you'd jump in and they would haul everything up on the shore oh, or something. Very and exciting. You remember one time they all ended up back at our house and my father, it was wet and cold and I think, I don't know whether we got rid of our wet clothes, probably not, but he made um, hot chocolate and it wasn't chocolate, it was what was called Bosco. Oh yeah. And, <laughs> and the, the rest of you teased us, us all the time we were called the hot Bosco kids. Oh, I don't, I don't really remember <laughs> that. I remember that. Uh, does anyone ever remember the Venetian parade? No. Nope. Anything know about decorating boats up? Oh, yeah, I didn't know. That was the kind of the water day. That was day, what they it? did on the swimming oh. festival. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. maybe that's there's a connection there. I don't have to research. Um, what any remembrances about any of the caretakers that um, are notable well, as far as something specific? Uh, with Sylvan Beach. Well, we've got Mr. Anderson on tape. We've got pictures of him. And then what? Then was Holmes. John Holmes. John Holmes. And, uh, uh, of course, Charlie Spicklewire was first. I don't, uh, I don't remember Charlie, but then Chester. Then, and then Chester. Then, then Jack Hansen after, after John Holmes. Yeah. Okay, all that's in Forbes' book. They mm -hmm. got yeah. that lodge, but no. Um, Nothing about that. I don't think it was anything yeah. too outstanding. What about, I don't um, remember. No. you've already mentioned the um, crossing guard. Do you remember, call a night patrolman? Uh, well, they had them fairly recently. No. Okay. Well, in patrol cars. Yeah, were, yeah Sometimes cars, they were yeah. privately hired, didn't Ken yeah. Johnson or something. Yeah, that was. There'd um, been some trouble or something. How about maids? Anything in particular about maids? Oh, they maids? used to have a ball. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, was, it was a whole other class. A whole, a whole other class. Living, uh, uh, yeah, they would get together on the Sunday nights and have their parties and we'd always... Yeah, we'd sit down in the, in the evening and fish. And they'd fish, of, yeah. Off of the dock at the Bob Club. And the maids had a good time. About when was this? Well, before the war, wasn't it? Because we yeah, didn't too, have them pretty much Not too many after. had them afterwards, a uh, few, few families. Yeah. Did you have one? Because I noticed in some yeah, of the pictures. Yeah, we that had one up until the war. I remember Mother said she, as soon as she had to pay over twelve dollars a week, she wasn't going to have one. Anymore. Yes, that's. <laughs> Where would the maids go and 
to party, to be alone. They'd go right? in somebody, somebody's house. I mean, somebody's little room, and they'd all, yeah, all they, gather into they, a. They, and I this remember was when, every Sunday night. I remember when Newman's rented uh, Arthur Holtz's right next to you. Oh, okay. They always used to go up there and party a lot of times. Mm -hmm. and Some of them play had the piano. that had garages. Uh, yeah, they garage where apartments. the maids were yeah, uh, stashed out there at the uh, yeah. were, you know, that they had that garage and they used yeah. to. What would they there. do for you uh, in that? Were they kind of nannies? Was that their? Well, they uh, did the cooking. All the t mostly cooking and cook, cook, taking care cooking of cooking and cleaning little and, kids. And, and, so you know. Sammy, they took care of Sammy. <laughs> but I mean, your, your brother. My brother, yes. Um, how about uh, romances or weddings and or weddings? Uh, well, there have been quite a few. Mm -hmm. uh, any particular notable? Well, yours. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think you've got my reminiscence okay. on that. That our whole yeah. we've all been married here and had the reception in the same yard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, if I may be so bold, who was your first White Lake romance? I don't even remember. <laughs> there were so many. Oh yeah. <laughs> just all. Such little time. I don't even remember that. <laughs> okay. uh, notable characters. Or f and or famous people of <coughs> around, uh, s several people have mentioned a gentleman who went out to White Lake and played a trumpet or something. Well, that was John Reese. Reese. John Reese. John Reese. Yeah. Yeah. Reese. Okay. Uh, R-E-I-T-Z. Yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, just as an example. Um, oh, it was just lovely. They, they, their cottage was what, we're not Pitkins, but right down there in the hollow. Cove. And on a hot summer night, he would... Yeah take his canoe and just kind of drift down the White Lake sides playing this trumpet. He played well. It was lovely. <laughs> well, of course, we didn't hear that. Would, you didn't get to hear, but it would just drift up the bank and he only did it for maybe 20, 25 minutes. He always wanted more. Uh -huh. But it was just beautiful. Any other notable characters? Well, uh, Mulder, Howard Mulder always carried his accordion to all of the parties. <laughs> Yeah. So you did have some music. Then. Well, well, that was this more was family more parties. Uh, that was, those on, were yeah. not uh, kid parties. Yeah, those were. How about right. Indian Joe? Well, nobody ever heard of Indian Joe Bryce except you. I, I, no, I've I've heard of Indian Joe. Yes. I don't know anything You're about him. Or Huckle, Bryce, do you? Uh, Huckle, yeah, much. Yeah, much. You you know, know, I know absolutely elaborate. nothing about it except that uh, Betty says that Indian Joe was a real live character who lived in the dunes. That's I all. Don't know all anything I about him? You're the one that saw his place <laughs> down there by where. Uh, yeah, we well, were the one that named him. Not me. Uh, well, I was born on Indian reservation, so I wanted to meet him. You know. Well. I never saw him or heard of him, but I heard of, I heard about the fact that he was there. That's all. He was on the Lewis property someplace. Huh. Just camping out or? No, I think he lived there, uh -huh. but I never saw him. I never went looking for him. I, I have, there's somebody there I think I can ask. I noticed in your daddy's album he's got a picture of Anna Mae Wan. Yeah. Do you know, can you elaborate on she that? She was at all? visiting Sidonis, mm -hmm. say, but that's all I know about it. She okay. was a movie star. Uh huh. But he, and he never. You know, they really didn't come any, to the beach, the people that visited the Sedona. Well, I was just wondering if her dad ever mentioned anything about her to Oh, to I imagine you must have met her or he wouldn't yeah. have had the picture in there. Well, now let's see, now about Ruth Guggins yeah. marrying the son of the President of the United States. Well, um, okay. And so, and also Gerald Ford's wife was up here as a young woman, <coughs> Betty Bloomer. Oh, Betty Ford was here. <coughs> with I didn't know with that. The, well, her maiden name was Bloomer. Bloomer? Yes. Oh. <laughs> and uh, she came up here. Uh, I, it was somebody down here at your end, um, Clay's or somebody, or uh, well, uh, yeah. as a young woman, or maybe her, her family might have even rented before huh. before well. she married to Gerald. Well, so we've were. had two two women who married presidents. Well, you named it after that about Ross Perot. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I didn't know he existed uh, until the next I year when I campaigned for him, but uh, had I known, I would have broken into the Roosevelt wedding whether I was invited or not. <laughs> I never had heard of him at that time either. Um, as far as a different season, winter, do you all come up very much in winter? I have never been here in the winter until after we moved to Cottage Bay, okay. and that was in and, 1985. Uh -huh. uh, do you, what kind of ambiances? Is uh, Sylvan Beach or the Big Lake like in winter? When you say you've been here, I, anything? I said I hadn't been here. Oh, 
But well, but I mean, since 1985. Oh well, I just saw a bunch of big icebergs. <laughs> okay. It's just darn cold. <laughs> you have to bring your own water because there's no. <laughs> yeah, we we were in the cottage and out of the cottage in less than an hour. <laughs> okay. uh, then in closing, finally, um, last two uh, questions. Do you all have a ritual about coming up here or leaving? Is there any things that you do first off, right off, when you get here? as far as uh, the enjoying car. the association. Do you have any kind of ritual that you do or, or, or events that you make sure that you get in? I think everybody you... goes by the turning and turning down at the uh, Duck Lake. <laughs> we always oh. come in that way. So yeah. they can, the kids always used to play who's, who's, you mean like some who's the first one to see the lake. Uh -huh. yeah, we, we used to honk at Hairpin Turn. We used to have to honk. We used oh, to yeah. around and, we used to start arguing as we left Chicago as who was going to get to honk the horn when we got to Hairpin Turn. <laughs> That's when, I never did find out when they widened Hairpin Turn. I guess it just kind of snuck yeah, up I on think they just Well, in fact, I was going to ask you, somebody was telling me that Hairpin uh, Turn used to be far worse. Oh, yes. yes it was oh, just yes. like a double back. Almost oh, like a yes. You had, I remember trying to see how fast you could go around it. <laughs> <laughs> Without going into the woods. <laughs> Without any trouble. <laughs> but oh. I don't think it was over 10 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. um, anything ritualistically that you do when you leave? Oh, I'm uh, so tired by then. What do you mean we have lunch on the deck? Oh, well, that's every time you leave. Oh. That's not when we leave. When we leave, we're just packing well, up. We listen for the uh, people who have their 6 o'clock Labor Day party. Oh, yeah. We well, like to hear the cannon go yeah. off on Labor Day. In other words, when they want to get rid of the tourists, they shoot the can at 6 o'clock off on Thursday night. We we'll wait to hear no, that. Labor, Labor Day, Day night. Labor Day, yeah. <laughs> Who shoots off that the can? Jim Duncan, isn't it? Jim Duncan. Is it? Oh. <laughs> um, and then finally, uh, what does White Lake mean to you? <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of an employment question. Or it's yeah. a, it's Why should I hire you? Sounds like the Miss America. Thing. Yeah, I know, right? So what, like, what, what do you do to better the I know. World? <laughs> it, but uh, any just off the cuff type remarks? Uh, Is it like a place that I look forward to coming back to every uh, every May? To me, it's it's roots. It's it's, it's roots. no matter where I had lived in my life in other parts of the country. This is where my most of my family is and where my dear friends are yeah. that I've known since I was born and uh, yeah. uh, will continue to know and their children and grandchildren and, and yeah. it's a very special place. It, it is. It definitely is. Okay. It's a wrap. It's okay. <laughs> Alright, this is a 1942 picture of the Sylvan Beach Arcade uh, and gift shop. It looks like one of the swim shows that uh, the water shows that they were talking about. Another shot of the uh, swim show. This is a uh, water show at the arcade. Here's more of the water show at the arcade, 1942. Okay, these are more shots of the arcade. Little wire fence there. Kids swimming around. This is 1940. Pipkins Drugstore in Whitehall, Michigan with the popcorn stand on the side. It looks like there's a Greyhound bus uh, logo there, too. Here of Murray's Inn with the car ferry dock across the government channel to Montague. The car ferry across the channel. The new arcade diving board in 1943. Looks like the same diving board that was at the Kitty Beach when Kim and I were kids in the 60s. This is a picture on the tennis courts in front of the arcade. That is Betty Post as a young girl. And that is the Valhalla gift shop. This photograph is from 1943. And that was originally owned by Carmi Guerin and she named it that because that is the mythological place where the gods resign. We don't know what that is, right? Well, no, we uh, say that your mom thinks that it's a uh, lifeguard tower on the big lake. Okay, there's the Whitehall 
railroad station where my grandparents came into Sylvan Beach area. And there's the ferry dock. That's the uh, lifeguard station on the big beach. Uh, that is the lifeguard tower on the big beach. The it's uh, the life saving station. Life saving Coast station. Coast Guard life Coast saving Guard. station. Called the life saving station by my grandfather, uh, where that indentation of that hole is on the channel. North side. Uh, on the uh, Montague side of the pier. There's that same word that you asked me about earlier, Lion Dyke or whatever. That boat must have been, yeah. must be the name of that boat. And, uh, this is the front veranda of the Sylvan Beach Hotel. This would have been in about uh, 1910 or 1912. And there's a picture of a beach fire about to begin with the teepee uh, firewood set up. Uh, my great grandfather is wearing his customary top hat, uh, tie, and suit jacket on the beach. You might also have a pipe. In 1912. And these are the steps to the beach in front of the Sylvan Beach Hotel, maybe the first steps that were built down there. This is uh, men's swimming attire in front of the Sylvan Beach Hotel in uh, 19, 1915, 1920. That. Uh, that's a Duck Lake sleepover. And that's somewhere between 1915 and probably 1920. Well, it appears that the men and the women have changed clothes. And they're all smoking cigarettes. I'd like to note, okay. and that one I know for a fact because it says Whitehall. Whitehall Train Depot, okay. It's like uh, September 8th, 1919. Maybe they're on their way home after Labor Day. That sees it running? Yeah. Okay, uh, this photograph is from Bryce's granddaddy's. And he's marked this picture, Hotel Park, and the boys are playing softball or baseball. And I believe that this is the plot of land that was next to the old Sylvan Beach Hotel where they first started to play their games before it was moved behind the caretakers. Okay, there's the Wabaningo Canoe. Fence. Oh, uh, yeah, they must be watching the baseball yeah, game. Yeah, they're watching the baseball game. Oh, okay. That just goes to show you how many people used to come to them. Yeah, look at that fence behind the Yeah, tennis court. do you remember that fence? Oh, I, I do. remember that. Yeah, fence. chicken wire. Yeah. Canary boat. A few people on board there. They're by the Sylvan Beach dock. Uh, that boat's named the Merry Widow, and that was the Spicklemeyer boat uh, that used to take a lot of the people across the lake to the association. What is this? Uh, this is the tennis courts and the little uh, umpire house Mrs. that used to be there in the center. Mrs. Simmons. Is the lady with the tennis racket and I think your granddaddy is the one standing by the little building. Check out those costumes. I'm almost positive we'll be happy. And there's the baseball team, which my grandfather called the Wabaningo Tigers. This would be about 1921. 1921. And there's the office. That was probably where my grandfather was working, building the road. Murray Road. Murray Road. What do you think? Is that Judson? Judson's? Judson's. Judson's triplane. Triplane. I think this is Bryce's granddaddy again. Uh, what, what are they advertising there? And uh, I'd like to make note of the uh, bill, the advertising bill behind him, as far as the way they used to communicate back then with um, posting notices. It would be like the Madonna of her times. Well, be done. 1925. Times were good. Ooh, that's a pretty short skirt. 
for those days. What in the world she got on her leg? That's our boathouse. And look at the type that of dock. Is the old boathouse. And that dock is something else. Planks. And that's your grandmother. Yeah, with the uh, two kids. Looks like my uh, uncle and Aunt Barbara. Hmm. Kind of marshy down there. That was 1932. And there's the cottage construction, 1939. Notice the horses. Oh, they got horses. Bringing up the, dragging up the materials. Yes, those are horses. I wonder how they got all this stuff up there. Okay. Yeah, check out those old cars. There's it. Broad with this, and mm -hmm. my feeling is, is it ought to be pretty low-key subject material, in my opinion. But yeah, there's the, there's the maid. That. I think that was about we could, 48 or 49, because okay. that's before my parents got, right before my parents got married. And who are the pit people in the picture? The only ones know? I know are my Uncle Sam, uh -huh. Judy Hio, cousin, Barb Marantet, my mom and my dad. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that must be when it was just built. It's now the Marglo or something. I'm not sure what it is now. I thought that was the where it kind of did a tunnel. Mm-hmm. Pull the stuff around. Keep that. Dinner with the big kids, big adults, but I made you extra bagel bites. The author segment. Oh yes, oh. <laughs> about the author. Oh, you mean you're done? Good, good job, Kim. Uh, yeah, I you, think you did a uh, very Thank good you for job. the camera work, Bryce, very good job. And par excellence, and, <laughs> thank you, thank you. and your mom and my mom. They were, they were and stars. It, uh, no, your well. wife and your sister for <laughs> taking care of the home front. Good, it was good. much appreciated. Good credits. Let them roll. Absolutely. Up.